Hi, welcome back. It's G-Man, My World 67. And I just wanted to share this with you. This actually came in uh, Saturday, and I didn't get a chance to uh, do a video on it. So I just wanted to do a quick video um, this evening, just a little short video, just to share it with you. First of all, uh, the package came in containing my... Um, let me set this camera down for a minute. So, okay, this package came in. I haven't opened it yet. Containing the uh, <clears throat> two. brushes that I needed uh, for the uh, TNE, the Lionel TNE standard gauge. And so now we have those two brushes. Uh, I'm going to be putting these brushes in one day next week and uh, hopefully uh, that will solve the problem with the uh, TNE. I do have those mini switches. They did come in. I don't remember whether I did a video on them or not, but they finally came in <clears throat> this past week. And, um, and so we're going to uh, first put the brushes in and see, make sure everything else is going good. And then we'll go ahead and mount that mini switch in. Uh, if not, uh, I've talked to uh, my friend Gary over at Trains in the Basement. And I'm going to take the motor out, back out at the chassis and send it over to Gary and let him look at it. Um, Gary fixes all types of uh, those engines and he's really good with those Lionel uh, motors. And so uh, I trust Gary to, to uh, look at it for me. And he usually can fix what I can't fix. so Or at least he'll find a problem with it. Anyways, uh, this came Saturday, and I opened the box uh, today, earlier, but I had not looked at it yet, unwrapped it, and I believe this is an engine um, about two weeks ago. I think, 10 days anyway, uh, Gary over at Trains in the Basement, he sent me a email saying that um, he remembered that I was, he and I had talked about me possibly sometime picking up a general, and I had never ran across one that was really cheap enough that I really could get hold of it or I really wanted to buy it. And so, Gary sent me an email uh, one day, and it had a, a, a general on it. And he said, maybe you can try to get this one. And uh, I did. And I did purchase it, and it, it does need a little work. What all it needs, uh, whether it runs or not, at present time, I don't know. But uh, I did purchase it. There it is. And we're going to uh, see if we can't get it running. Now, I don't know why, but they had pasted the advertisement of the uh, place that I bought it from on the outside of the uh, engine. So we get rid of that. But anyway, um, here it is. Lionel General number uh, 8005. Now, 
It did not come with a tender, and most of these are DC. I haven't even looked it up to see anything about it or not, but I do see the motor in it, and it does not look like a, a universal can motor. It looks like a DC motor. And so we're going to assume that it's DC. Um, and as soon as we get done with our military, um, we'll probably go ahead and work on this and uh, the tinny and get them back up and going. Find out what's wrong with this. I know it's missing, I believe, the uh, steam chime whistle thingy that goes across here. Uh, there's two holes here and then a hole in the top of the uh, sand dome. So, I, th I think it's missing that piece that goes there. And it's missing the headlight lens. And the headlight. So it's missing a few pieces. But basically, uh, it, it seems otherwise to be all there. It's missing uh, this brake dealy that goes here. Uh, you see it right here. It goes on to the piston. Part of the crank, I guess. That's missing. And so, we'll have some fun trying to see what we come up with. Uh, picked this up on eBay for $15. And um, I got to thinking, well, I don't have a tender for it. So I went back on eBay and I found a tender, tender uh, for it, a red tender, which should be here hopefully this next week. Um, and uh, I believe that tender... I'd have to look it up, but I believe at tender. Um, actually, I paid more for the tender uh, than I did for this. Uh, the cost of the tender plus the postage. So, but we'll try to get it back going and see what we've got. Hopefully, it. it, it it's, it is lino, and like I say, I've been getting rid of my lino, and I don't really collect lino, but there are a few pieces of lino that I've always liked, and I do like, and that, that I do have, and I've kept. Uh, there are pieces that I've had to work on and fix, uh, repair, uh, and so uh, I kept those specifically because I bought those specifically for that reason, uh, to operate on my layout and to have in my... Um, consist and that's why I went ahead and got this it was such a good price um, good deal this little stanchion is broken right there and I decided well just go ahead and see if I can get it and sure enough I was the only bidder the only bidder on it and uh, unlike some of the other guys has done that I've never had that happen so this was the first time for me as being the only bidder on something and got it for that price. All right. Well, that's all I had for you uh, for this evening. And uh, as always, if you have as much fun working on and operating your trains as I do with mine, uh, then you should have happy reels. Until next time, this is G-Man, My World 67. Bye-bye.